Zerzon watches Grave on Nessie's. He's currently selling two armor sets, the Gambit Prime Invader set and the Season of the Lost armor set, specifically the Activity armor set. So I'm going to show you the Illicit Reaper set and then we'll go to the Season of the Lost armor set. So for the Illicit Reaper, this is probably one of the more better armor sets from uh, Season of the Gambit, which or Season of the Drifter, I should say. I really like this. It, really, it does retain the red. Uh, so if you wanted to change the color, you can't. So just be aware of that. But other than that, I think these pieces are really good. The helmet I actually used on a video just yesterday, if I remember correctly, my cowboy look for my warlock. If you guys haven't seen it, I'll have it right now. But yeah, the helmet definitely super cool. I think the chest piece is also pretty good. I think all of these pieces are really good. It's just be aware that the red doesn't change color. As for the stats themselves, uh, Licit and Vader gloves are pretty high on mobility, which means I would probably just ignore this. Same thing with the chest piece, although the discipline is pretty high, but again, 19 mobility after you masterwork this just pisses me off a little. Uh, helmet is decent, but I probably wouldn't get it. And the boots, actually 26 on discipline is pretty nice. And then if you add a plus 10 to recover your resilience, that's also pretty nice. For the Season of the Lost armor, this one's really good. It's, I think personally, the helmet is probably the best part from this whole set. And then the bond too, the bond you can use for like electrical looks. But for these stats, we're going to be looking at the Path Invaders or Pathfinders wraps, which this isn't bad. Uh, I probably would rank up the recovery to a plus 10. So that way it could be a 17. That way you could have a 16 on resilience and discipline when you masterwork it and then a 19 on recovery so that'd be pretty nice uh chess piece also decent uh if you don't have something better I definitely would pick this up the helmet is actually pretty good as well because at this point you're getting a plus one on the stats that i really care about i mean you could do intellect so that way you can get a plus 10 on intellect as well but i probably would go for resilience just to bump it up a little more and then the pants are pretty de pretty damn uh, forgettable. So I would probably recommend the helmet for the illicit invader and then maybe the chest piece. And then for the other set, I would probably recommend the, the helmet and the bond. But again, uh, like I always say in the Zer videos, I would recommend all the pieces if you have the bright or not bright does the legendary shards for it. As for the Titans, again, I think the best piece is going to be the helmet and Actually, that's pretty much it. I think the chest piece is also pretty good because if you want to go for that tactical look, it does have pouches on it. Uh, the boots are also pretty good as well, but I think the helmet and the chest piece are probably one of some of the more better options from this set. As for the actual stats, 24 mobility is way too high. This one's also pretty decent. I mean, sevens is not bad, especially once you masterwork it, you'll have basically ones on actually almost all of these. So this is actually, this is actually pretty decent. Uh, for the helmet, 15 on recovery and discipline is pretty nice. And then if you bump it up to 19 for the resilience, this one's actually not bad. Like I would actually pick this up personally. And then 17 on mobility is pretty, oh my God, nothing on resilience, no, almost nothing on recovery. Yeah, I would ignore the boots. And then the other one, the season of the lost armor. Personally, I think the helmet is probably the best piece from this, but I also do like the boots as well. The arms and the chest piece are probably the pieces that I just forgot about this whole set, if I'm being quite honest. Uh, but stat wise, the arms are actually looking pretty nice. 20 on intellect and recovery. That's pretty filthy. I mean, at this point, I would probably double down on recovery and then just have another piece that's heavy on resilience to even it out. For the chest piece, uh, that's a, oh, it'll be a 30 if you if you masterwork it and add a plus 10 recovery, but it wouldn't, well, it, it would equal out to the recovery or yeah, the recovery on this one. So these two would probably be really good together. Um, the helmet, pretty forgettable. And then for the boots, I like the 19, but I feel like the recovery is a little too low. So yeah, I would recommend the helmet and the chest piece for the illicit reaper or illicit invader plate. I think these two are just the best. And then for the pathfinder stuff, I think the helmet and the boots are really good as well. Uh, but again, I always say if you have the legendary shards, pick them all up because you never know when you'll want to want to use them in fashion.
As for the Hunter, I think the best pieces are probably just going to be the helmet. I think the helmet is the only best piece from this whole set. I think the illicit stuff for the Hunter just looks pretty terrible all around. I think the cloak could be argued to be pretty good as well. But other than that, I think the arms are pretty terrible. I think the chest pieces, oh my god, the bags are way too big for me. And then the boots are also not the best. So helmet's probably just the best. As for the stats, 19 in recovery, mobility at 7. This isn't bad for PvP, especially if you add the mobility. And then if you add powerful friends, then that's also more. That'll be like, what, 37? Yeah, 37 mobility. That's pretty fine. Uh, Resilience is just too low for me. This one, mobility at 12. Resilience at 16. This isn't terrible. I've definitely seen worse. And for the helmet... Mm. this is pretty good and then damn this is really good i like this i like this that distribution a lot more i probably would pick this one up the next one is the season of the lost which i think the arms helmet boots and even the chest piece are all usable i've used all of these in multiple designs of stuff that i've made so i would recommend a lot of these pieces if not all of them even the cloak i think has some uses but for the stats, we're looking at pretty disappointing all around. Definitely don't pick that up. Uh, also, don't pick this up. Uh, this is pretty okay. Uh, if you masterwork at 19 resilience and if you put a recovery mod on it, you'll have a what, 21, I think. Yeah, 21. So, eh, it's fine. And then this one's not the best, although it is 10, I guess. But eh, it's fine. So... Yeah, let me know which armor sets you guys are going to be picking up. I think if this is a bug, hopefully Bungie leaves it in because I think two armor sets a week is much better. Because if you don't like one of the armor sets, at least you have a chance of liking the other. So hopefully Bungie, please keep, keep this because it would be great to have more armor sets because there's a lot of armor sets from the past that are unobtainable. And this is a great way to show, give us more uh, for the weapons themselves and impulse amplifier and swashbuckler for the imperial needle which is pretty decent uh ooh, and draw time i might pick this up what the fuck uh actually fuck it, we'll pick that up royal chase grave robber and quick draw man i wish but i'm not a fan triple tap and demolitionist for enigma's draw for a for a sidearm no thank you sir heating up corner no thank you sir surplus and danger zone no Field prep in full court, though. Does it have a... I mean, it doesn't matter. It's not like grenade launchers are meta, but... Eh, no. And then Zen Moment and Kill Clip. This actually might be decent for PvP. Uh, if you're a controller player, because Zen Moment's always good for controller players. But the Kill Clip is going to be nice, because this gun already is nice, personally. I love this gun. Uh, Exotics, let's look. Hawk Moon with Surplus. I'm going to ignore that. Uh, Dead Man's Tail moving target. This actually might be good now that uh, Dead Man's Tail is uh, going to be aim down a lot more two-tailed fox uh i'm not the biggest fan of this rocket launcher shards of galanor 20 run resilience what the fuck okay um i would probably bump up the recovery to a 19 because you don't really need high mobility with shards because shards is a is a swap exotic not something you're gonna hold on to forever so maybe uh hollow fire heart i'm sad to say is garbage and ooh fuck look at that recovery bro what the f okay i would pick up the transversive i mean i think i have a better set for my transversives but this is good i think the only bad part is the resilience is a little too low but at that point you would probably use another piece to equal out the resilience as for the <laughs> don't give me a shitty exotic please dog just give me bombardiers i'll take that uh what do you give me you know what i take i'll take that i'm okay with that so let me know what you guys think in the comments. Why the f oh, that's right, because this isn't this is disabled actually. Does it work? Does it? I'm I'm confused. Does it work? It doesn't even show. I'll test it later. But yeah, let me know what you guys think in, in the comments below. Uh, obviously, I have three of them because this is the actual one. These are for the fashion videos that I made. Let me tell you guys, I've made a lot of fashion with the new exotics this season. This new season just brought so many cool looking exotics. But yeah, I will have 
the Titan video, the specifically the Titan uh, exotic video, I will have it up by the end of this weekend. It's just, it's been a while that, okay, let me just be real with you guys. My arm still hurts. It's not as bad as it used to be, but it's still kind of like the pain is still like annoying. So that's why my videos have been taking longer because it takes a while for me to like actually like do the video. I get tired because my pain really hurts and then I'll go lay down for a bit and then vice versa and like that. So let me know what you guys think in the comments below. If you guys want to follow me on social media, I'll in the description below. Thank you all for coming up to this point. I'll see you guys later.